on the uh, telephone with me this morning is uh, Kamara Seals from Pine Bluff. How you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm doing great. Good deal. Glad to be here. Oh, we're glad to have you here. And uh, now tell us who it is that you're with because uh, I was kind of impressed. You 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 do these kind of things for a living. Yeah, this is this is what I do for a living. So uh, I am the policy director at the Arkansas Public Policy Panel. We are a 61 year old uh, civil civil and civil. Uh, social and economic justice organization. So we've been a while, around for a while doing this kind of work. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. So we got mm-hmm. something kind of cool that's going on today. And uh-huh. um, this is about the Arkansas Education Rights Amendment uh, for our, uh-huh. our uh-huh. kids, AR. Right. And uh, so they're going to be in El Dorado. And I know all across the state really uh, getting right. people to, to sign up on the uh, – uh, to get this on the um, uh, ballot for coming up in November. Right. Uh-huh. And uh, uh-huh. so tell us a little bit about, first of all, how this thing got started. Now, this is, of course, uh, I think people have kind of heard it because you're running some commercials, too. But tell us how this right. got started and uh, got us to where we are today. Yeah, so so we, we, cre- we have created a BQC, which is a ballot question committee, uh, b- around education. And we really believe that every child in Arkansas deserves a quality education. And that is the passion. That's what drives us. Uh, that's what moves us. And let me, let me tell your listeners, uh, what this amendment, uh, wh- what this amendment will do. Uh, there are some things that, uh, are proven methods uh, with statistics to prove things that will boost children's learning. And those are the things, there are four things, and those are the things that we are trying to amplify and the reason we are trying to get these signatures to get this measure on the ballot in November. It's universal pre-K for three- and four-year-olds. Uh, you know, we want every child to have a good start to a good education. So if we can have universal pre-K for three- and four-year-olds, that will be phenomenal. And also, the Arkansas legislature has not given additional funding for pre-K in 15 years. So when you can't get it done through your legislative body, you take it to the people, and that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, The other thing, uh, Jay, is uh, after-school and summer programs. We need need summer and after-school programs for for our students uh, to be able to go to, and we know it's so important to keep them busy uh, and, and focused on constructive things so they don't have time to be doing other things. But that, that will help uh, boost learning. Uh, the third thing is uh, education support for kids in poverty. And so we know uh, wraparound services are important, but we've got to do more for our students uh, in poverty. And then the last thing here is quality special education. Uh, we've got to make a special education of kids who learn differently, who have different abilities, we've got to make that a priority. And so those are the four things that is really, really critical uh, that's in this amendment. Um, Mm -hmm. The other thing, you know, all that kind of falls under, you know, uh, things that will boost uh, children's learning, okay? Okay. So a couple other things that this amendment does that's important for your listeners to know uh, is this will establish minimum academic standards for Arkansas schools. Uh, You know, subjects like reading, math, um, um, social studies, things like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's just important that all students are learning uh, all the, you know, learning these topics. Um, and then requiring, and this is a big one, requiring all schools that accept state 
payer, taxpayer dollars uh, to follow the same rules and standards. Because right now, we have some schools who do receive taxpayer dollars who don't have the same standards. So our thing is, it does not matter how a child is educated or where they're educated. It could be traditional public school. It could be charter school. It could be private school, home school, any of those. But if, here's the thing, if they receive taxpayer dollars, we believe they should have the same standards the same rules, the same standards. It's kind of and funny so to me. I was thinking they all did. No, yeah. no, no, no. Because <laughs> you can have a charter school who doesn't necessarily have to have a certified teacher. Uh, they, do, they don't necessarily have to do the same, te- same uh, mm-hmm. testing. You know, private schools, they don't have, there's a different standard of test. So no, all schools are not following the same standards and so that's what we're trying to get is that if the yeah. if understand now if they get receive taxpayer dollars in any way right. then that's what we're asking is that they're the same standards across the board when it comes to testing uh mm-hmm. when it comes to to everything we want the same standards. And so, and you, so you guys are also saying that the, the, this Arkansas Educational Rights Amendment does not change the LEARNS Act no, in any way. No, absolutely not. Okay. It does not. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, listen, the LEARNS Act is law. There is nothing we can do. I mean, it is the law of the land, okay? Mm-hmm. So this Arkansas Educational Rights Amendment does not do anything to the LEARNS Act. There's a lot of misinformation out. There's a lot of incorrect information uh, (laughs) and just downright lies that are being told. But we are not trying to do anything to the LEARNS Act. So Uh, so now we're trying to do... Yeah, I'm sorry. uh, sorry. Now, so today you guys will have the uh, signature sheets out, and that's going to be downtown El Dorado, is that correct? That's right. It's going to be at 101 North Washington Street. All right. From 10 this morning to 3. Okay. And there will be, there will be volunteers there uh, uh, for asking people to sign uh, the petition. And understand what we're doing is signing the petition to get this ballot measure on the ballot for November. Mm-hmm. So we've got okay. to get these 91,000 signatures by July 5th. So that's what we're doing is asking people to come out today and sign the petition uh, for quality education. And also, if this passes, um, it will become part of the Arkansas Constitution. So that's hmm. that's exciting. Okay. That, that's, uh, that is mm-hmm. interesting. That's exciting. Uh-huh. So, and I guess, uh-huh. uh, so today, if you want to go down there and, and uh, you just want to sign that right off, you can do that. Uh, and, of course, they'll have information. Mm-hmm. If you have questions, they'll they'll be able to answer those um, questions for yeah, you. Yeah, there'll, vo- yeah, there'll, be, volu- mm-hmm. there'll yeah. be volunteers there that can uh, okay. answer their questions and, and um yeah, interact with with interact with the public today from ten to three. Sounds That's good. Right. That's right. Come here, mm-hmm. yeah, come here sales is who we've been talking to, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so you get that opportunity today, so you can um, go down there and let your uh, let your voice be heard one way or the other. So, come here, we thank you for calling in this morning, and uh, good luck to you. And uh, uh, uh-huh. yeah, I think everybody wants good education for the kids. I certainly hope so. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, I hope you have a great day absolutely. and. Uh, Maybe all Thank that you. little bit of rain that we're having will kind of move on out of here. Right. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. You have a great day. Uh-huh.